The Jubilee Book records that Kilmarnock men played golf at Troon in the 1870s and 1880s. But in the year before the production of the first car in Europe, the distance to Troon and Gales was deemed too long for the golfing men of Kilmarnock. Accordingly, 14 of them met in the George Hotel in the town and formed Kilmarnock Barassi Golf Club in 1887. The course was initially sited in Kilmarnock, but this only provided nine holes, and in 1894, new land was secured at the present site at Barassi, adjacent to the railway lines, thus facilitating access by train. Situated to the north side of Troon, its neighbours Western Gales and Dundonald Links, and provides its members and visitors 27 of the finest Links holes. Unlike many out-and-in Links courses, Barassi never reaches the sandy shores of the coastline, but rather weaves its way through the inland gorse, with holes playing in many different directions. Barassi is blessed with many great par threes, but none more so than the fourth hole. A burn runs down its entire length just yards from narrow green. An accurate tee shot is required to secure a par on this hole. The club has played host to many great championships over the years. Final Open qualifying, Scottish amateur for both men and women, and most recently the R&A British Women's Amateur Championship and qualifying for the AIG Women's Open. However, the club's proudest accolade is that four of its members have had the honour of representing Great Britain and Ireland in the Walker Cup. James Milligan, Gordon Sherry, Jack MacDonald and most recently Ewan Walker. It's an achievement the club shares in its Walker Cup room where memorabilia sits proudly on display. So, why not follow in the footsteps of major winners who have tested their games over this wonderful, captivating and historical course on the west coast of Scotland?